Um, if you actually knew how hard it was going to be, you just would not do it. <laughs> it's one of the great yep. ironies or paradoxes. <laughs> so I mean, true. you guys had, I remember visiting the factory in the Giga factory at that time period, and you literally had executives from the corporate office on the line delivering cars interact i mean literally people who were in accounting were there del delivering model threes to customers just to keep the company solvent i mean the esprit de corps is was just palatable and uh you know i just think the world you probably don't hear this enough but i think the world does thank you ultimately for the massive sacrifice it took to, to make the world pivot to electric and it's it's so clear i think and um, i'm curious from your thoughts that now that tesla has done this and succeeded um it is now inevitable that the ice engine will be retired and 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 we will be 100 percent electric in the next decade two or three what are your thoughts on that i 100 percent agree i mean we the uh, we've passed the the threshold here the tipping point or whatever analogy you want to use you know there, there's no um there's no going back and you know there'll there'll still be bumps along the way i mean it, it's it's sobering to realize or remember you know what a small percent of the fleet is still electrified i mean we're still you know broadly in single digit percents maybe approaching 10 you know depending on which region hmm. but um you know we've got a long way to go still but you know it's clear now to every major you know auto company maybe bar a few holdouts but um you know, they, they, people realize this is the future and where it's headed. Um, and it's, it's really cool, you know, because that was actually one of the, the main missions of the team at Tesla in the earliest days was, you know, even despite how hard it was and, you know, maybe we'd fail trying, but, you know, damn the torpedoes, we were going to try and, you know, convince the world that this was the future and accelerate it as much as we could. And, um, you know, having that shared mission and, and that sense of purpose you know, made it possible, I'd say, to get through the, the production hell and, uh, you know, keep everyone engaged and aligned and, and create that, you know, that that spirit that you felt. Uh, Norway, 75% of new passenger <laughs> car sales in 2020 are electric. It's amazing. I mean, they heavily subsidize it, they're incenting, but it just shows what this combination of excellence from Tesla and the product combined with a country that takes it seriously. And by the way, Norway um, has the biggest oil reserves and largest, <laughs> largest sovereign wealth fund in the world. People don't know that, but their offshore oil is unbelievable. And it's quite paradoxical that Norway is 75% new car EV, and they have the largest reserves of oil. Let's just say something about you know, what they're doing domestically versus what's there. If Tesla, and uh, we'll, we'll go over to Redwood Materials next. If Tesla had failed, what would the state of EVs be today in terms of, uh, you know, let's say you failed at the Model S, you know, time period. Mm -hmm. Just Model S never got delivered. Model S doesn't get delivered. Where are we at in the world with EV production? Well, I mean, personally, I think the technology is so compelling that it, it, it's going, it was going to happen at some point, no matter what. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think it would have happened as fast. And I think, you know, we may still be, you know, bumbling along if Tesla had, had failed, as you said, somewhere in one of those production ramps, S or even three. Um, you know, I, I just think it would have taken much longer and, and the world wouldn't be as far along as we are now. And we'd have when higher would Ford carbon. do the electric truck. You think they would be doing it now or they would do it 10, 20 years from now? Hard to predict. I, you know. Yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure it would have been later. And I, I'm uh, going to put it at closer to two decades than one. You know, it, it's, and that really matters. You know, this stuff, I mean, we can't go fast enough in terms of decarbonizing the world. It's terrifying, you know, to realize, you know, how, how screwed up we are and how far we still have to go. So, you know, that, that acceleration and, and that, you know, pulling ahead of, you know, other companies launching this is really, really important to the world. Uh, if extreme weather, no matter how you look at it, the, the extreme weather we're seeing is, um, you know, it, it's, it's getting worse. I think seven of the eight fires we had in the last year are the, are the record fires uh, in California history. So this is in a very acute situation, even with the massive progress we're making. Uh, but, you know, founders plus technology can change the world, and you did. So we're thankful for that. Tell us uh, about Redwood Materials, which you started in 2019. 
Yeah, Redwood Materials. So, um, you know, I started this, you know, to kind of look ahead at, you know, some of the issues and in, in, uh, infrastructure and materials supply chain uh, problems that were coming at us, you know, as the whole fleet electrifies. So, you know, first off, I, I, I love being an entrepreneur. I love building things. I love, you know, building teams and companies and projects. Um, and, you know, I, I really believe strongly in the ability of, you know, small teams to have big, you know, leveraged impacts on, on the future. And, you know, we just talked about that at Tesla, of course. But, you know, what I saw that wasn't getting addressed, I thought fast enough was, um, first off, looking at the end of life for EV batteries. You know, it seems like a small issue and it seems far in the future and not something to worry about, but it, it is a, a, a substantial scale problem. And it's going to take us quite a few years to get ready at scale, um, you know, to fully demanufacture all of these batteries. Uh, and I think it's, it's the, the challenge of reaching scale and economies of scale around that, uh, that a lot of people forget. And the other thing for me is, is sort of imagining where this, this all ends up. And, you know, pretty bullish that the whole fleet is going to electrify. All the cars on the planet will be electric. And, you know, once you do that, you know, all of those materials that make up those cars um, are going to be in a closed loop ecosystem. You know, they mm -hmm. don't go away. They're, they're in the car for the life of the car. And, you know, that combined industry is bigger than all of the mining that feeds it. It's, it's you know, bigger than the existing kind of, you know, parts industries that supply it. And it doesn't exist today. So to me, it's sort of seeing yeah. this massive industry that, that is going to be created. It, it's a certainty. And also seeing nothing happening yet and it not existing. That, that to me, was part of the really compelling reason to jump into to Redwood. If your bank charges outrageous fees, you need a bank account that's built for small business. And that bank account is Novo's free business banking. Novo, N-O-V-O, is built from the ground up to be powerfully simple and free. Money Magazine called it the best business checking account of 2021. And with Novo, there are no minimum balances, no transaction limits, and no hidden fees. So sign up for free in under 10 minutes at banknovo.com slash twist. And then they're going to mail you a Novo debit card and get you free ATM use. That's right. You'll be able to use the ATMs for free. And Novo makes banking easy and secure. You can manage your account in Novo's customizable apps with built-in accounting and invoicing. Plus, you can tag each transaction and upload your receipts and keep everything nice and tidy so that when you go into due diligence as a startup or you have a board meeting, everything's tight and tight is right when it comes to your books. Don't screw up your future funding rounds by not having good books. Novo integrates with most leading business tools and services like Stripe, Shopify, QuickBooks, and more, and they do that all for free. Plus, Novo offers over $5,000 in perks and discounts just for signing up. So get your free business banking account in just 10 minutes at banknovo.com slash twist. Go to banknovo.com slash twist to sign up for free right now and get a free copy of Novo's Small Business Starter Guide. Once again, banknovo.com slash twist. 